Reviews of the Mega Man games Mega Man 1 through Mega Man X6. Holy moly, that's a lot of Mega Man games. That's 17. 17 games, you got it. And uh, well, I was going to ask how many of them you love, but I guess we'll find out. You know, I guess there's 12 if we count, if we count uh, base. Oh gosh. Okay. All right, we'll start with Mega Man 1. What do you think about this um, game? What do you think about these bosses? It, oh no, so, what do I think about the game? It's very simple. So, the game, it isn't extremely fun. There's only six bosses, unlike all the other games with that, which have eight bosses. But I know why. It's because they didn't have enough space to write all eight. But. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, this game might have been made uh, before they started, before larger, I think they're called MMCs, were put in the cartridges, and probably only had a uh, limited size. So, the game's not bad, especially for the first one introducing the series. Got six big bosses, and then two, like, final stages, right? Where you fight uh, the big bad guy, Dr. Wily. Only two final stages? I don't know. I've never made it. Uh, I don't think I've ever beat the uh, the first six bosses. All yeah. I remember is that when you get to the Wily stages, and like in one of them, you have to refight the um, like all the bosses again, but they're yes. like in the middle of the levels. Yeah, that happens in every single Mega Man. Oh, I forgot this game has a point system. <laughs> so weird. Point system? Was that yeah, I got one thousand five hundred points. Oh Look at that. yeah, right, right. I don't know why they have <gasps> points. Because it's a video game. Every video game needs points. Ow! And then every other Mega Man and Mega Man X game doesn't have points. Anyway, yeah, this isn't the best game, but it's good for the first game and what they had to work with. So, yeah. Not the worst game, not the best game. Definitely good for what they had. Oh, but curious. I'm really curious what, uh, which game you think is uh, worse than this. But should we wait until you get to the other games? Uh, yeah. Why would anybody go over to that ladder? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. More? I think this game suffers from a lot of repetition. Oh, because there's more of these guys, just a bunch of these guys. That's all I've done so far. Hmm. Another thing about this game is the point system is weird, and why does it exist? <laughs> Have you ever beat this game? No, not even close. I've never gotten past Gutsman because oh. of the stupid platforms. That's definitely my least favorite stage. I know one thing I love about this game. What? I love the way the the uh, the sound effect when you hit an enemy. Oh yeah, those are good. Oh, so good. That's one thing I disliked about the uh, the Game Boy games. Ooh, man, they're fast in this one. In the Game Boy games, when you attack an enemy, uh, it does not have this sharp, crisp sound effect. Instead, it's kind of a mush sound effect. Kind of lame. Also, oh. one thing about the Mega Man, all the Mega Man and, and Mega Man X games, and you can't shoot up or down. You can only shoot left or right. Even in the latest, latest Mega Man game, what is it like? I think it's, is it Mega Man ZX? ZX2 or something? I don't know, something like that. Very light game. Um, and they still, still can't shoot up or down. Yeah. I don't know, but I think there's kind of a reason for that. Why am I killing that guy? I can't... <sighs> what, is yeah. what is your purpose in life? But no, that's kind of a, uh, I don't know. I kind of think of that as a thing with uh, Mega Man. So back in the day when, I mean, Mega Man is a side-scroller. Yeah. You're jumping, jumping and shooting. And there were so many games like this that were side scrollers jumping and shooting, which means each game, to differentiate it from other games, had like a little gimmick. In Metroid, it was you can sh shoot left, right, and up, but you can't duck. In Super Mario, you could duck, 
but you can almost never shoot. You know, most of the time. You jump you jump on enemies' heads to kill them. In Bionic Commando, you can't jump at all, but you have a bionic arm that you can use to swing on things. So like each game had a little little variation. And Mega Man's was just no ducking, shoot left and right, and collect items from the bosses to get, you know, better abilities. Um, but also <laughs> They did add jumping for two of the X games. Oh, they added what? Oh, ducking? They added ducking for two of the X games. And they're like, nah, let's get rid of this. People are, people hate it. They added ducking. They, so, they deleted it at one point. I just tried to slide. Oops. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, another thing about uh, games one and two is... You can't slide or charge. Charge is like what I'm always doing in my Mega Man and Mega Man X games. And you also can't slide, which okay. is slide. Um, what is it? Dash, dash jumping is the thing that I do the absolute most in uh, Mega Man X. I forgot Mega Man One had this weird uh... tunnel of enemies before the boss. Oh, I got a head. You got a head. Yeah. Just decap de decapitated a robot. Any chance of beating this guy? Oh, one thing I loved about Mega Man 1, just like in general, I love... I always got angry. I got angry at so many side-scrollers because, um, you know, I get hit by an enemy and I get knocked back. And then you hit them and they And I hit that and nothing happens. They just keep running at me. But in Mega Man 1, you hit the bosses, and they actually get knocked back. I thought that was incredible. I still love that. In That's... every single other um, Mega Man X, uh, Mega Man and Mega Man X game, bosses do not get knocked back. And yeah. And it's for a good reason. Hey, why is that? Because then you could just sit still, shoot, 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 shoot. And Are you saying that battle I just did was real. easy? <laughs> not for ones that have jumping around AI. Wow. Hmm. Wow. So, uh, yeah, that's everything that I have for one. Game one. Alright. Uh, Mega Man 2. This one actually has a story. Year 2000X. Did we already. Did we already. Did we already get past two, year 2000X? Yes. That is that 2010. Like so. Yeah, we all remember where there was a, robo a bunch of robots terrorizing the land and the guys to come and save it. That definitely happened in 2010. Whoa, I just realized. Look at Quick Man. His, his uh, image is coming out of the frame. That's hardcore. That's cool. I never noticed that detail before. Wait, is this? Yeah, this, yeah, this is. I don't think this is a ROM hack. This is regular Mega Man 2. No, yeah. Cool. Hey, I never actually realized that either. I don't I don't really look at anything, I just boom, Metal Man, start that and then get the thing. I never was able to do Quick Man because of the giant death lasers. I had to use the ROM hack that adds dashing to the game. Because then sliding? You sliding. Whoa, that's weird. That's right, somebody made a ROM <laughs> hack where you can slide to Mega Man 2. So I had to use that to be able to get through that part because it's just so annoying when there are giant lasers that make annoying sounds and are one hit, that one hit you. But um, this game, I think, has like the best weapon. Well, of first, all the of all, Mega Man games. first of all, Mega Man 2 is the first one that really started a lot of the Mega Man traditions. Yeah. It's got eight <laughs> bosses. It's got this uh, layout for the yeah. character select, enemy select screen, stage select screen. That happens until five, I think. I mean, well, six. Six has it, and then I don't think seven and eight have it, and then uh, nine, ten, and eleven have it. And then the X games. <laughs> X1 had it, X, X2 didn't have it. Every game after X1 didn't have it. Hmm. I mean, I don't really know about any of the X or any of the Zero, ZX, or like, 
What are those games? I don't know the games that have the carbons. I don't know what they're called. The carbons? Carbons. It's it's further in the storyline. Basically, all the humans are dead and everyone's a carbon. Which is basically <laughs> a human merged with the mechanical robot body. What are you doing? Not getting hit. No, yeah, well, you're also not hitting it. Um. Have you beat this game? Have I beat this game? No, because I got stuck on Quickman. If I didn't get stuck on Quickman, then I probably would have beaten it. Besides Quickman, this is an amazing game. It's pro it is uh, one of my favorites of the original six NES games. Wait, wait a minute, Quickman. What? Oh, but you can use the uh, you can use a flash stopper to uh, to cheese that section, right? Yeah, but also that means you can't use it on the boss fight, and the boss fight is really hard without the uh, thingy stopper. Well, I don't disagree with that. I thought, uh, I don't know, one of my th one of the things I really, I used to not like this game. I thought it was Nintendo hard, like too hard. Oh. But the more uh, the more I learned about it, the more I loved it and appreciated it. Like, for example, that terrible disappearing, reappearing platform section in Heat Man's level. Uh, like, I wouldn't play the game because that part terrified me. But then I realized, oh, you just use a special item and you fly can over just fly it. fly across the entire level, yeah. And it's awesome. Also, this game introduced Wait. the yeah. power-up thingies. What are they oh, called? Oh, that's right. The jumper thingies. Special like, items. Yeah, special item one, two, and three. That's right. The precursor is the rush. Yeah, this and then in so much. three, they were just like, let's add rush now. Did they add that in three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had that in three. They added the dash and the rush in three. That's cool. Oh, golly. Birds! Stupid birds. Well, for the first three games, Ugh. I don't like it because there's no charge. There, I think there should have been either... Every game has got to have... I feel like it's got to have either extreme rapid fire or a charge. I think this game... Would, does this game have extreme rapid fire? No. Oh, I mean, you can shoot pretty fast. You just got to get good. Oh, this game introduced E-Tanks. Yes. And E-Tanks are like the most useful, one of the most useful items in the game. It's like, wah, 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 <laughs> like It does look pretty angry up there. Just like, mm. Wait, why did you go for cra Crash Man? I love Crash Man. He's one of my favorites. He's like, I'm gonna throw bombs at you. But I also love cheesing his AI. Oh, the most, I'll get to it later, but there's a boss that you can cheese so easily with its special weapon. You literally just jump, you literally just face the other way, jump, shoot, face the other way, jump, shoot, repeat process. Who is it? It's oh, it's a different in, game? It's in a different game. Oh, okay, you can wait. Game. No problem. Yeah, I'll wait until it's that game. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and this was the game that introduced those uh, tunnels to get into the uh, boss area. Just the small little pocket area. But yeah, this game is 10 out of 10 if there weren't giant death lasers. So 9 out of 10? But yeah. with, the, with the giant death lasers, it's unplayable? <laughs> yeah, you just can't get past Quick Man, and then it's not fun because you can't play the rest of the game. Or it's too hard to get past. A lot of people can get past it, but it's extremely difficult. I see. Got it. Okay. Mega Man 3. Probably like this as much as I like 1. Really? That really surprises me. So Mega Man 3, uh, when I was a kid, this game... What, what is it? So... By the time I really was into video games and getting getting like hyped up about them you know reading Nintendo Power and all that stuff this was the game that was hyped up to death this game was this game was huge uh, I read all about Nintendo Power I read I saw advertisements I was so excited about it so in my opinion like this was this was the biggest Mega Man game and it's also weird because this is the last Mega Man game to come out before the Super Nintendo 
which blows my mind. Mega Man 4, by the time Mega Man 4 came out, people were already playing Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. It's so weird. Um, so... Um... This game, the reason I don't like this game, I don't know. So it introduces dashing and, or sliding. I would say dashing. Sliding and rush. And I don't know, even with those additions, it just seems like half of the bosses I didn't really think were that cool. Oh, what do you think is not cool about them? Um, like their look, their weapons, their stages. Oh, it just. Oh, I man! You see that parallax scrolling? No, I don't. Awesome. Um, you see that penguin? Aw, oh, he's, he's just a penguin. <laughs> okay, what? Um, so, it has, a, so every, most, every Mega Man game has like a different feel to it. I, I agree. One feels old. <laughs> 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 Two, oh, I like, <laughs> Three and then three. The feel of three, I just didn't really get into that much. So that's why I didn't really play it and didn't really like it that much. I mean, it's. I guess it's better than one. But still, I didn't really like it that much. So, what don't you like about three? I don't know, really. I just don't like it. Is it hard? I don't know. If, I don't think it's very hard. Oh, this game also have, introduces Proto Man. Have you beat this game? No, not even close. Hello, goodbye. Um, oh, and I missed everything. Oh, so this stage looks weird. This stage is awesome. Tadpoles. Mm. Mega tadpoles. Oh, I haven't even used my slide ability yet. Yeah, slide. In my, uh, I play Mega Man, I like, I like and play Mega Man X more than I do play Mega Man 1 through 11. Mostly, I, um, I, my favorite, uh, game in the Mega Man series is Mega Man X3. Um, uh, <laughs> you're supposed to shoot that. What? <laughs> what? Are you... Guess I'll go on this side. <laughs> <You think>? Crap. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get the power up. This is going to be the best. This is going to be totally worth it. Watch this. It's going to be like... Gosh that. darn it. <laughs> yeah. I use my rush coil just to get fill up my rush coil. <sighs> Well, that's cool. I like that you start with Rush Coil. Uh, in all the Game Boy games, you never st uh, you never start with Rush Coil in the in the Game Boy games. Instead, you have to earn them, you know, by killing one of the bosses. Yeah. I like that you start with it, which means they can start uh, they can start including Rush Coil sections in any level because the player is guaranteed to have it. Yeah. So you never beat this game. When do you usually stop playing? I never play. You never play it? <laughs> wow, you really don't like this game. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't really play one or three. Or four. <sighs> one, three, and four I don't really play that much. Oh my gosh. Four is really just because nobody really played four. What? When it came out and stuff. Is that because they were too busy playing Super Mario World? Yeah. We're already playing games on the Super Nintendo, oh, and everybody's just like, I, nobody uh, cares about the NES anymore. Well, I was still playing Nintendo, because I never had a Super NES. Mm. Where's my penguin? Yeah, I need a that's, giant penguin. That's not a penguin. That's a dragon pot. Oh, there he is. I see his beak. Oh my gosh, it's a bigger penguin. Big penguin. Is this like the ice stage or something? Uh, yeah, this is kind of the water... He's kind of the water boss for the game. What? No. There's there's a guy that you can use the, uh... Marine Rush in, right? Is that Wood? I think that was Woodman. Woodman has, like... Woodman's Mega Man 2. Oh. Alright, right, right. 
I don't know. There was a level. Is it this level? That had... Oh, yeah, I guess it was this level. I think, I think I'm thinking of uh, um, the second Game Boy game. Oh, yeah. In one man stage. Oh, watch this. Pro move. I'm going to get ahead. Boing. Thanks, Rush. That was really cool. That was a really cool idea. What's a really cool idea? Rush oh, Marine? no. Oh, gosh. I didn't even oh, go down this far. Uh -huh. Oh, no. You're a jerk. Megato. It's fine. Mm. Kind of got hit there, bud. Oh, no. <sighs> You're going to start me right first, here, aren't you? First, yeah. I got to at least beat this stage. I love Gemini Man because <laughs> I'm a Gemini. And I think the idea of Gemini Man is so cool. I love that he splits into two. I mean, there is at least one other boss that I know that splits like, into two? makes copies of itself. Who's it's, that? It's um, it's in the X series. Oh. X5, I think, has. Is it Split Sponge? No, that that's an uh, X two. Uh, that's an X two. And Split Sponge is weird. <laughs> Wait, I just made that name up. That's actually a character. Something Sponge. <laughs> there is a Sponge Boss. Sponge Boss Square Pants. <sighs> there is a Sponge Boss Boss in Mega Man X two. I don't remember what its name is. Maybe we can. Oh see my it gosh. Why? Oh my Yes. What a useless enemy. <laughs> this game's so weird. Yeah. Also, eventually, games started making so that you couldn't shoot through walls anymore. No! In a Mega Man game? Yes. I'm pretty sure in 7, oh, geez. 8, and oh. all the X games, you can't shoot through walls. <gasps> I am doing terrible. See, this this would be much better, a much funner boss fight in my opinion if you had charge shot. <sighs> or if I didn't die, holy moly! I can barely got any hits on him. I don't remember it being this hard in the uh, Game Boy version. Wait a minute, when does he shoot his Gemini laser? I what? think that's after half health. Really? I wonder if they changed him a lot in the Game Boy version. Wait, I don't even know if there is a Gemini laser. I don't know what a Gemini laser is. Oh, that's a good trick. Oh, that's not a good trick. Yes, that's a good trick. No! I keep landing on a spiky head. It's okay, I got an E-Tank. Yeah, you should actually try using it this time. See, oh. his pattern isn't consistent. Well, he changes the more... Uh, as you hit him, because one of them will yeah. like slow down. Oh my gosh! That's what happens when you stand still. <sighs> that always what that's always what happens when I'm oh! <laughs> He's done why? I'm Why are he? Crikey! Maybe I'm not gonna beat him. Oops, rush coil. That's my that's what I'm missing. I gotta use rush coil. No, definitely do not use rush coil on a boss fight. That's gonna get you killed. Oh, what? Yes. Now they're right next to each other. Ugh. Hey! Oh! That's what happens! Now I remember! You kill one uh. of them and then they shoot slowness lasers. They're very annoying. No! I don't know about his collision detection. Yeah. Bad news, Mega Man. You're out of E-Tanks, and it's not looking good. Well, let's get this over Should with. Should I try it? Nah. <laughs> okay. Ha! I'm winning! Uh, by one hit. I keep accidentally Now clicking. you're losing. See, like, they deal five damage, like, five damage on, five, six damage on each hit. I'm cheesing them. And you deal, like, what, one damage each hit? Yeah. That's, and, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I've been kind of obsessed with this game recently. I've been reading, or no, watching a bunch of videos about it and reading about the history of it. 
<sighs> oh well, I guess it's not as amazing. I was always surprised to hear, uh, I heard the opinion that Mega Man 2 was like peak Mega Man before, before, I don't know, changes that were controversial started being made, something like that. And I was always confused because I considered Mega Man 3 to be so amazing. But the more I look into it and the more I replay it, the more I'm noticing its flaws. Oh well. And also a glitchy three. Okay, number four. Finally, we got charge shots. Hmm? This is probably my least favorite of the three NES ones that have charge shots. Mostly because I've never heard anyone, even like Dr. Kotler, is that what his name Dr. is? Dr. Kossack. Yeah, Kossack. That's right, Dr. Wily is not even in this game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which one was the first one that I I never remember what, what's the first one they say to fight. And this is the game that introduces everyone's favorite Mega Man character, Kalinka. Kalinka? <laughs> oh, Kalinka. Right. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do the flapper down here. Dog. I, mean, I like the way he flaps his chest. Dog. Flappy. Frogman. All right, why does this one have okay. the, uh, why is this your least favorite with the charge shot? Well, first of all, I definitely like it more than one and three. Okay. Uh, and mostly because it has all of the things, finally. It has rush, charge shot, and dash. Although it also has the worst charge shot out of oh. the first three anyways. Once in my opinion, this charge shot is like the uh, Falcon armor shot <laughs> from X five and six. Oh man, I did it really bad. Ugh. It's just like very thin and not a ton better than just spamming normal shot. Actually, maybe it's even worse than spamming normal shot. But um. It's um, still a good game. It's not a bad game, definitely. None of the Mega Man games are really bad games. I can't believe how different the vibe is in this game. I don't think I'd be able to explain it. This game is... It just feels like Mega Man 4. Yeah. So weird. The music also has like the same vibe to the game. Yeah. So you can tell what song is from what game. Right, it's funny when we're listening to the soundtracks, you know, and all the music is all mixed together. I can be like, sometimes we'll say like, oh, what game is this from? Or what, who's, which, uh, which boss is this? Like, it sounds like a Mega Man 4 game. I don't know how that happens. It's so weird. Is that because it sounds different or because subconsciously we know it's Mega Man 4? Well, also, oh, no. one thing is there oh! is... You can always, usually, or like, I'm pretty sure all the time you can tell if it's Mega Man or Mega Man X. Um, <laughs> like one of the games from the Mega Man series or from the Mega Man X series. Well, yeah. It's like a lot of different. <laughs> They're completely different consoles. Yeah. Oh, okay, you know. Aw. But also you can tell the first two and Whoa. a half games from the last oh, right in the four eyes. and a half games. Is it four and a half? Three and a half. Or no. But five and a half. I say half because Oh Don't you dare. Uh really huh. Mega Man oh, X3. You can, there's a version for the SNES and a version for the PlayStation. Oh it's kinda like so weird. half one console, half the other console. Also Spikes. Also I spikes. I about spikes. Oh, that was spikes weird. are annoying. Mega toe. There we go. Why do you need a mega toe? Spikes are essential to Mega Man. S spikes go with Mega Man like not being able to duck goes with Mega Man. You can, but you can duck in X5 and X6. Maybe you can. I don't do that crap. I refuse. I dare you after this. I, but you have to play X5 and X6. Or do you want me to play it instead? Oh, oh that's right. This is the guy that... As soon as he starts flapping, you just shoot him and he stops flapping. Well, that's kind of, 
I think I see a little flaw in uh, Toadman's uh, AI. modus of operandi. <laughs> oh, no, you lost the psycho. Oh, it's He's a flapping. He's a flapping. Hey, buddy. Flapper bun. Buddy, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> what a weird boss. He really is easy. Oh well. It's almost as so good. So this is a good game? Have you beat this game? No, I've not beat this game either. Oh, I actually There are it. two of the original six that have beat. And there's Spin, two there that goes. you haven't done yet. Whee! You got Rain Flush. Flush. So Rain Flush doesn't make any sense. Also, oh, you Oh, he's so happy to see me. Rush Marine Adapter. I actually played through this game for the first time recently. It was fun. Yeah. It was really good. I remember that. Um, yeah, so this game, it's my least favorite, it's my third, uh, fourth favorite of the original six. Your fourth and favorite? It's of the not, original six. It's not the best game, it's not the worst game. Wait, 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 so did we get to your number one favorite yet? No. Did we get to your number two favorite? No. Did we get to your number three favorite? Yes. Which is what? Two. Mega Man 2. And this is number four favorite. Yes. Number five favorite is three, and, number, and my least favorite is one. All right, let's go. Here we go. Mega At, Man 5. Yeah, Mega Man 5. Oh, boy, this is a tie with six for my favorite um, one of the original six. Um, yeah. It's a really fun game. Uh, I usually, so, usually people would start with Starman. For some reason I found Stone Man to be extremely easy. I, I love have Gravity no Man. no idea why. I could play a whole game based on Gravity Man. I used to uh, be able to get through all eight. Then I stopped playing it and now I'm not really able to do that. Once again, this game has a major vibe. Look at those numbers in the corner. It's calculating gravity. Yeah, also, yep. this has the best charge shot of all the games. Very big charge shot. Big charge shot. The one from five is a little bit smaller, so it's not as good. <laughs> <sighs> I think I... better. So, I love the charge shot, too, until I realized... Uh, I started hearing the, uh, the arguments against it when it was introduced. Um... Number one, people spend their whole time, anytime they're not fighting an enemy, they spend their whole time charging yes. up, which just sounds annoying, and it's it kind of annoying to have to hold your finger on the button the whole time. And then uh, the second issue is that in order to compensate for the charge shot, they make enemies take more damage. You know, just they kind of bullet sponges, which means you have to do it, have to fight them with, uh, with the charge shot to do it, you know, like, it's not going insane. Mm, yeah. Whoa! Parallax scrolling! Where'd that come from? I don't remember that. Why does it look so wobbly? Maybe it looks better it's on a CRT kinda, TV. Yeah, it's kind of glitchy right now. Gotta turn on our CRT filters. Uh, no, we're not turning on a CRT filter. Um. <sighs> Keep this thing. Well, why is this your favorite? Why is this my favorite? Oh, because you like the charge shot. Yes, I like the charge shot. I like the Oof. gameplay. I like the vibe. Is there any boss in this game you don't like? Oh. Any boss? Any level? No, not really. They're all... I mean, I've never really been, been a big fan of any of the levels, really. Uh, Just the bosses and, like... My favorite thing in all video games is the upgrades. Wasn't there? Yeah, oh yeah. I was impressed, I watched you play. Like, I noticed when I play, I almost exclusively use the Mega Buster, the standard bullets, yeah. uh, for everything, including the bosses, and you use special items all throughout the game. Yeah. Oh, look at you, you're huge! Get out of my way! Like, certain attacks have certain different things that they can do. Like, instead of it just shooting straight forward, like the, um, the scissors from the original game going like arc 
and different shots are more powerful. All of that stuff. Huh. Also, uh, what's a good example of a shot that, uh, shot that I really think is unique compared to all the other ones? Um, I guess, uh, maybe the, oh, oh, the, uh, the, <gasps> my favorite, monster. my favorite game is uh my favorite oh, how cool game. is this you start on the ceiling okay what my favorite game is Mega Man x4 um and there is a weapon called the like web electric web or something and basically you throw it and then you can jump on it for a few seconds like it's a wall after you've shot it and there's actually a specific secret in the Oops. game that you need that item to get like you shoot it out oh. and then you jump onto it and you can go up on a platform to get it and that's uh, cool. I think ah! it's a really unique uh feature so that's why i use a bunch of different shots and stuff there's another shot from that game that creates like an ice shield around your body um in x4 drops down yes oh y'all done talking about this game yeah i'm talking about uh special busters and stuff special shots i see so, yeah, uh, like this game, I really like, uh, so, as I mentioned, I'm used to the Game Boy games, which, am whee, look at him go! <laughs> He's a spinning. He's, uh, most of the time, in most of the Game Boy games, you know, it's a remix of the bosses and stages that are in the NES games, mm -hmm. but, uh, stage select. But, uh, the Game Boy games never had Gravity Man, Gyro Man, Starman. Who am I missing? Was Wave in there? Or Wave Man, right, right, right. Or Wave Man. Yeah. So that was really cool place. seeing them on the, getting to play them on the NES for the first time. Uh, yeah. I'm always I'm a sucker for you know Gravity Man isn't the first time or the only time that that gravity effect was in a video game, and I'm always a sucker for any time. I love it when video games have that that gameplay mechanic. Uh -huh. Um. Well I think this is an amazing game, and maybe, yeah, I think 6 is a bit better, though. Uh, Alright, let's check it out. Capcom Co. Oh boy, Mega Man 6. So this had a rush, but in a different way. <laughs> it's probably my one of my favorite things about this game. Just like uh, the last game where I played, st where I thought Stone Man was really easy, I think Plant Man is easier when they, what they think you should do, Flame Man. I don't know why, I just, it's easier for me. Also, this has Yamato, Knight, and Tomahawk Man, which are all like guys with swords and stuff. I didn't think about that. Wait, Tomahawk Man has a sword? What is it? No, Tomahawk has a Tomahawk. Oh, okay. But he's just like a knight, but with a Tomahawk. And then Yamato and Knight have swords. I see. I remember Centaur Man was huge. Yeah, Centaur Man is, um, he's, he's a centaur robot. I, so, the story says that Dr. Light created this, created these, oh and then Wily reprogrammed them. I have no idea. Why would Dr. Light make a centaur? Oh my gosh, Rawson. What? Blizzard Man has a little winter hat. Yeah. He's so cute. I think he also has one of your uh, favorite uh, stage songs. Oh, I love Blizzard Man music. Yeah. Oh, that might, yeah, it's one of my very favorite uh, Mega Man songs. Wow. And Yamato Man, I love his music. This game has great music. Mm. Uh, Plant Man, these guys look so goofy. Plant Man is a f flower. This yeah. guy's got a winter hat. This guy's got a turban. What? Yeah. He has like six legs or six four appendages. Legs, Wait, four legs, six appendages. Two arms. Like a normal centaur. Night Man looks like a night man. I don't know. Just looks this guy's like Japanese. Japanese. And Wind Man has two giant fans on his shoulder. Wow. Tomahawk man has a tomahawk. 
I remember I did Flame Man for the, the when I played through this game recently, so maybe I'll try Plant Man first. See how that goes. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is a very, uh... They really up the, yeah. uh... Yeah. This one also oh, has Oh, look at though. these graphics! Compare this to... Wow! Compare this to Mega Man 1. It's the exact same Mega Man sprite for the character. The backgrounds are so detailed. It doesn't even look like they belong in the same game. Yeah, because they don't. They're different games. Uh... Do you, do you mean series? No, game. What? Oh, see, so that that oh. thing right there, you have oh. to unlock a special thing called Rush... Um, oh, I don't have the adapter! Rush Strength. Oh, I thought I already had it. Wait, what? You don't start with it? Nope. I could have sworn I, you start with it. No, you get it from... I think you get it from either Plant... No, you get it from Look either Blizzard or Flame. <gasps> I don't remember. It's either Blizzard or Flame. It's I Blizzard. Can't. I should have done him yeah. first. Oh well. Better luck next time. Yeah, I you like their little propellers. Gives you this cool <gasps> punching ability. But my absolute favorite one was the Rush Jet Pack. Yeah, the jet pack. I've heard people do. Uh... Oh, Freddy! Wait, what do you call him? I do your flip top. Or I something really else. Care. You don't care. Uh, this is the monkey. The Get away from me, monkey! This is the first monkey. There's another monkey. Oh, that's right. So you gotta hit him to knock him back. Ah. Oh. This isn't. This is a boss that had a unique wow. thing. Usually, uh, you have to just hit him in the top and yeah. the legs. It doesn't happen. But this one, when you hit him in the legs, it knocks him back. That just hurt him. Oh no. Springy, springy, springy. Okay, so this is you just hold the jump button and you'll automatically bounce high. That's nice. That's so much nicer. Nicer than what? Then the alternative. So anytime anytime I fight a new game with a high bounce mechanic, I always have to figure out how they do it. In many games it's you have to press the jump button at just the right moment to get the high bounce. And it can be super annoying. It's super happen. annoying. Yeah. Many times it's okay. Like, I think Donkey Kong Country Returns or something did a great job of making... You have to do that, but it's also, like, very lenient. Monkey number two is... They're, I guess they're gorillas. But gorillas are just a form of monkey, right? <gasps> How dare you! Do I have to sing the... you going to make me sing the song? What? If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. Even if it has a monkey kind of shape. It's an ape if it doesn't have a tail. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. If it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey. It's an ape. Look at this! So it's an ape? Oh, gorillas? Yeah. No! <laughs> Get out of my face, Basically, fish! Basically, what are they called? The fish! Torpedo Ted? It's fish this, yeah. Ted. Torpedo Ted's better. Are these These are just going to stay open? Yes. Oh. Well, why? What's the point of them? You're freaking me out, to game. be a platform! It's like the doors in Metroid. You shoot them and they open. Oh. Okay, I guess it's a bad example because they don't stay open forever. But um, They don't? Oh, right, right, right. In Metroid. This is going well. <laughs> okay, oh! Exactly. They, keep, they come back! Yeah. What do you expect? There'd only be one annoying torpedo. I mean, fishy Ted. Torpedo Ted, you can't even kill. Fishy Ted, no, you can. I can't. Think, yeah, you can kill. <laughs> Maybe you need a special items. item. Oh, they put him on the spring. That's yes. clever. I always remember that. They're like, we take a spring. <laughs> the boss wants to. <laughs> the enemy wants to go for a little ride too. <laughs> I don't have rush coil, do I? I got nothing. I don't have There's rush. no rush coil. Sorry, you get rush, rush jet pack, which is my favorite. You rare, the, wear the, Rush's skin on your back. I don't know. Here's the thing: the rush pack was you could fly, but you could not dash or charge. That's clever to balance it a little bit. So you could fly around. Oh, and oh boy! Shoot your ah, shot. get away from me! This is basically just like Starman. It is. 
Like, they literally are just like, hey, let's make Starman, but make it not star anymore. The flower is actually kind of like shaped like a four white star anyway. So this is basically just a copy of Starman. This is Man. so weird. It literally is. So. I wonder why they did that. <laughs> Except there's not low gravity. Oh, oh, the gravity difference. That's a good point. But it's really just the same boss. Starman isn't even affected by the strange gravity anyway. Well, you are. Oh, just... Wow, I got hit once? Wow. I mean, that was fun. It's not. It's the same thing with Starman. Yeah. Starman is just supposed to be. Starman and Flowerman are just supposed to be ha ha easy boss. So have you beat this game? Yes. This is actually one of the original six that I have beat. Oh, he's pink. That's great. Oh, Rush Jet. Awesome. Wait, what? Oh. Rush Jet Adapter. That's oh, I got... Jet Pack. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Try, um, <laughs> just go into a stage to oh, show the, uh, the Jet Pack. Yeah, so I didn't finish my thought, so... Right, I've heard some people speedrun this game. Or speedrun? They try to do a whole playthrough where they use nothing but the Jet Pack. Something like that. Yeah. There are some spots where you have to dash. Like, it's a necessity. Oh, yeah? Look at that guy. He's even got skis. And ski poles. Um, so, yeah. If you press... If you go oh. to jet... Oh. Press Mega jet, Man 6! And just, like, vroom. And then he goes into jack. Jet. jet. Mega, Mega Man. <laughs> so now, yeah. It has to recharge every time. And when it runs out, you, uh, you drop down to the ground. Wait, is that as high as I can go? No, it's because they're... Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that is as high as you can go. Okay, that's clever. That's really smart. They did a good job balancing... Seal! Seal! They did a good job balancing it, because this could easily be overpowered. And yeah, you can't if you add infinite, then you, you can't can charge. just fly over the... You can't charge and you can't slide. I see. Yeah. Well, let me... So if I go like this... Okay, back to normal. And then... Mega Man 6! Just Ooh, yeah. Jet! Mega Man! Again! Yeah, that that was so annoying when I was playing this game. I was just like, oh, I have to... I want... I have to... Stat. I mean, it's like... Take it off. Oh, I want to put it back on. Mega Man 6! Yeah. What an odd choice. Usually, I would just press the speed up button. Wait, you can skip it, right? I don't think. I don't think you start, can. Start. Start. <gasps> oh, okay, A. Oh, well, you That's can't weird. What an odd choice. Eh, whatever. Anyway, still a good game. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite. It's also the easiest because it's of the original six. I know that because the only, it's the only one that I've actually beat. Oh. Um, and it was very fun. I beat it twice, and I had a lot of fun the two times I played it. Cool. So, in conclusion, so your favorites are Mega Man 5 and 6. Mm -hmm. And then third place is Mega Man 4. Mm -hmm. Then 3. Uh, and, then, and then 2. Mega Man 2. And then 3. Wait, no, it's 2. Oh my gosh. It's 6, and, six 5, 2, 4, 3, 1. Whoa. That's your tier list, huh? How would I rank them? Wow, I really don't know 4, 5, and 6 very well, but I enjoyed them when I played them. I'd say Mega Man 2 is my favorite. Yeah, that, that makes sense. For a long time, 2 is my favorite until I played 6 mm -hmm. and 5, and then I was like, these are better. Huh. I don't think I can rank them. Hmm. I can certainly rank the Game Boy games. <laughs> I really like... I'm going to say... Maybe I'll say 4, 5, and 6. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll say 2 is my favorite, and then 4, 5, and 6 are tied for my next favorites. And then 3, and then 1. Hmm. That's uh, favorite to least favorite? Yeah, and mostly... My, my, my uh, opinion is based mostly on like difficulty level. Like, can I even play through the whole game? Because uh, four, five, and six are very challenging, but very beatable, very playable. 
I mean, I beat, uh, oh, and uh, likewise with two. Two feels really good. Um, yeah, two, four, five, and six are all very beautiful. Three, <laughs> I always start playing three, and I have so much fun with the bosses, like all the first eight Robot Masters, and I'm like, yeah, this is so great, why don't I ever play this game? And then I get to the Doc Robot levels, and I'm like, oh, wow. They're impossibly hard. They're so hard. And then I always turn it off. Now, I do have a car the copy of the game for the NES, the original cartridge, and I played it, and I did beat it back in the day. Like, whatever, you get enough E-Tanks, you look up how to, the weapons, what weapons are needed to kill all the bosses, and I made it through it. And uh, it was good. I beat it once. Um, so I would just say, just play through the first eight, then turn it off, reset it, and play it again. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, I beat the game. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Alright. Sounds good. That's Mega Man 1 through, 5, 1 through 6.